Next, let's queer up the worldview. Activist group The Dyke Project places messages from Palestine across London's public transit. A group of lesbian activists has replaced ads on public transport across London with stories of LGBTQ plus people in Palestine. The Dyke Project, a group of trans, cis, and non-binary lesbians and queers of all persuasions, targeted transport for London's network as a part of a call for an end to the Israel-Hamas conflict. Posters telling moving stories were put up on the Victoria Lane line and the London Overground. The posters feature testimonies from Queering the Map, a community-generated digital map of queer experiences, and are accompanied by a message of solidarity. Stories include the message from people in Palestine, such as, we are here and we are queer. Jess Elliott from the Dyke Project said the hack aims to remind the community that none of its members are free until all of us are free. The posters put up near popular gay venues remi remain on display. The Dyke Project was formed to oppose narratives that pit trans people and lesbians against one another. So I actually checked out the site and I thought it was amazing, honestly. I thought it was so impressionable. I actually almost cried reading like so many messages from queer Palestinian people. Um, I mean, I actually have like a message here. Um, I've always imagined you and me sitting out in the sun, hand in hand, free at last. We spoke of all the places we would go to if we could yet you are gone. If I had known that the bombs raining down on us would take you away from me, I would have gladly told the world how I adored you more than anything. I'm sorry I was a coward. That is just so deep, so profound, and, and so moving to me, and it just really humanizes, you know, queer Palestinians, because a lot of times in the news, we don't even, like, they don't even have a face. We don't even know that they, they exist, but they do, and they're suffering. Yeah. This is and the London Underground, of course, is a great uh, place to get a message out. I mean, millions of people go through and see those those signs every day. Uh, but it's also a reminder that when anything happens in the over in the globe, when anything happens around the world, it's also happening to queer people. Absolutely, and, and uh, that is a really important message to get out there. Absolutely, yeah. It, it, it's just so moving. Honestly, I, I I literally was I'm literally about in tears like um, reading these messages. But you know. You know, it, I remember uh, almost two years ago now, it took about this long from the start of the Ukraine conflict uh, to start to really start to hear uh, the queer stories. Once uh, LGBTQ started making it across the border uh, into Hungary and primarily Poland, uh, that we've got to start hearing their stories. And let's make no doubt about this. Pal Palestinian queers, as all Palestinians, they are victims of Hamas as well they are they have sitting there suffering for the acts of others hamas is a terrorist organization that carried out terrorist attacks on israel of that there can be no doubt but we cannot lump everyone in there together just as all like we can't say that all people of afghanistan were for the taliban no very 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 few people of them of them were the same for pakistan the same for so many countries palestinians are victims we stand with our queer brothers and sisters we pray for your safety.